Good morning. So uh, carrying on with Snippy Pixie next uh, development and uh, the CLI. So where we're at, uh, we are trying to implement um, a change to the list format. Um, and basically it's way too complex at the moment. Um, and I need to uh, reduce it down and make it a little bit more um, flexible too, so that you can add in fields. So at the moment it's um, output in a, a pipe delimited um, ID, abbreviation, body, and last used. And I'm trying to make it so that you can basically um, turn all these things on and off. Um, and we'll default to having uh, just the two um, abbreviation and body and space delimited. Um, so um, we started building tests, um, which should fail. Um, because at the moment it's still doing the same thing as the old string function that we've got here. That's a stringer. So whenever you pass in a snippet, it now just outputs that. Um, in the future, we're going to do something else um, passing in here. So, um, right, let's see, where are we at? We have, Oh, we have a new test formatted string. Um, at the moment, this will pass because it's the default, but it's going to fail eventually. Um, this is just the same as the, the string test, which again is going to fail soon. Um, so now I need to just do some things. So let's. Right, yeah, so we were there. Let's just make sure that still fails. Hold on. Let's, uh, let's bump this up. It's a bit better, isn't it? Ooh. So, my test should still fail. All right, I definitely need to put some uh, comments on these tests. So line 61 is where we're expecting it to fail, I think. Yeah, so it gets the output there and then it's like, hey, um, it shouldn't contain an ID, but it does. So let's put a comment here. Check if everything else is okay. Yeah, so this is what we're expecting. So, okay. I'll not put com comments on the other things because uh, I think I'm going to change them later anyway. So, we'll sort it out then. Uh, yeah, sorry for any noise like. Horses in the stable just in the corner. Uh, got to keep the door open, um, the window open. It's a bit hot today. Uh, right. Okay, right, let's get to this then. So, somehow, we need to change things up. <clears> hmm. <throat> Seagulls as well. Don't know if you can hear that. It's lots of noise. Right, 
What am I going to do here? I guess the first thing let's test each of those booleans. It'd be nice if I could do this in a little bit more of an automatic way. But I guess I'm probably going to have to just like pass them. And then just build up a string. And print out the... Uh, The limited version. Although mm, what I could do is just create an array or slice I guess I don't know and use join on it can I do that and then just join it with a delimiter hmm don't know if I've done that before yet here um if I test where would I have done that probably somewhere in here let's have a quick look um Let me join. No? Wow, okay. Definitely done split. All right. No? Wow, okay. All right, off to the docks then. I want to check to see. Um, what I can do there then. Uh, let's think. Where am I going to find? I don't know. Let's just do a quick search and see what I can do. Okay. That'd be handy. Hmm. Let's try that. Saves doing um like a four each over stuff and whatnot. So let's have um var. Um, out of type string and 
and then we'll just do simple if statements, I guess. Can I not append my? Because oh. it returns. Mm. Oh, yeah. Right, okay. Well, that will be easy repeat. And that will build us up a ray. Now, I don't know about ordering. We might have to change things up at some point. But for the moment, this is the order you're going to get. Which is probably enough. Uh, I probably should have left that in. Yeah, what kind of format is that? Oh, clear that out now. Uh, that's okay. It's just a UTC. Not you, just, yeah. Just a kind of SQL sort of format, which is fine. Right, okay. So that's us got an array. Um, and now... We just, well, we should have a delimiter coming in already. So that's as simple as just a S print. Well, actually, no, it's just strings. In theory. Okay, um, now, what do we do about an empty one? Okay, well, we'll test that in a minute. <laughs> okay, um, right, so on the test, let's see what we're going to do here. So we are testing no ID, a body, uh, sorry, abbreviation, body, and a space separator. And we're expecting no ID, no last used, um, and then this output because of the snippet here has a abbreviation and body like that. So let's give it a go. It passed. Yay. Okay. So that's good now what do we expect uh, 
Let's do some alternate versions. So if we have, oops, what happened there? Stop it. We have false, false, false. Um, and pipe just for fun. I'm basically expecting an empty. So I am not expecting well let's put in what's God what's going on there? Something's really playing up my keyboard today. Uh, or either maybe my Fingers are playing up. All right, should not contain. That and should not contain body. I got up a little bit late today and I'm not quite awake really. Probably not, a cough, not enough coffee as usual. Right, and it should not contain snippet. Pixie. No, what? What's going on there? Contains out. Oh. Where did that come from? Oh, okay. Right. Okay. 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 That's why. That's all a bit weird. It's from that string from the copy and paste. Right. Oh, now I'm expecting it to be exactly empty, not even a pipe in it. Well, let's, well, let's test that. Right, as well. Okay. All right. So basically, if I pass in no fields and pipe delimiter, I just expect an empty output. We'll see. We do. Cool. Now, let's just make sure that does fail. I'm not passing it, yeah. Okay, that's good. Yeah, it's basically saying, look, empty does not equal pipe. So that's good. All right. Uh, I think that's okay. Um, if you don't pass in anything to that function, you're just not going to get anything back. Right, next test. Um, we 
haven't done have we done okay but we've done that case with pipes We've done the test with everything. We've done a test with something. I could have data driven this one, but anyway. Um, let's just do another quick test whereby So we've covered most of the cases there. We've covered true on fields, false on the fields, uh, change in the delimiter. What we haven't tested is an empty delimiter. Um, and Mm, actually, let's just take that. Yeah, what we'll do is we'll just take that copy here because I'm not going to muck about with the other fields for now. So we will have an empty delimiter, those there, and I expect that. Not great. Certainly not great as a default, but that can be done elsewhere. Okay. I think we're good on that. What about can I do tab delimited? Cool. Let's just test that. See what we get. Yeah. Yeah, let's put the tab in there. You can't really tell the difference there because it's on space, but. I hope anyway. Right. Okay, I think that's enough testing. Let's put it into practice. So, a couple of things then. Uh, well, hold on. We should really have some comments in here. Now I can change this. Just 
try and decide whether I'll decide what to do with that. Do I keep that format? It's kind of handy. Or do I just do the abbreviation body version as the default there? Let's do Yeah. We will do false true. That did not complete true false. That we'll just do a space limited. I think. Now this may should mean that the tests fail. Yep. Not true. String contains out ID blah 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 thirty. Okay. Yeah, so basically we want this now, sort of, you take those three, Is. And that should mean that the CLI itself now yeah, does now does abbreviation and body by default. We're gonna have to change that because it's in the code because we want more flexibility, but that's okay. I think we can live with that. And so do wibble, yeah. That's okay. That's much better than what we had before. Okay. Uh, right. So. Comment.
I'm going to leave them uncommented for the moment and uh, maybe deal with them some other time. Okay, right. We now can start implementing this stuff here. We need to do a config change. And then pass the config basically. Uh, do, 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 list. So here at the moment, all we allow for is once we picked up on the list command, um, in the flags, all we have is search and whether to order by last used. Um, so we need to start adding bits in here. Uh, let's get back into it. So, oh, quick test here. It's fine. Back to here, and now do make test. Let's pass in now. Okay, so this is CLI. So this is where the config will show up. Um, it's part of the tests. So. Better get the config test up and running actually. Let's do that first. So this is data driven. Um, we've got this thing where given these arcs, I expect a command to be generated. Um, the command will have some arguments um, and then there may or may not be some output. In general, there's not output. Um, that really comes into play when we're doing the failure scenarios um, whereby we always kind of expect um, some kind of standard error output or something like that but in here there's list there it is so all those basic ones there still stand if you do snippet pixie list, we expect a get snippets command to be passed back um, with search for nothing um, and last used false um, and no no uh, standard error uh, output. And then you kind of do the same thing. So uh, we've got a list and then sp backtick should result in a search for sp backtick and then if we have the uh, dash dash last used down here last used turns true and so on like that and that all gets like passed through these tests in the for loop um making sure that um what we expect is there and stuff like that so let's add some expected things. Let's do the long form first. So we are going to let's see if I take a copy of that. Well, let's take both of those actually. So now we've got to kind of work out a format for these arguments. Right, well, let's do delimiter first. That's going to be simpler, maybe. It's also alphabetically. Different. So. Let's 
do delimiter pipe. Now that's interesting. I have to do something like this, I presume. And we should then have search empty. Oh, I'm going to have to update all these things anyway. Ah. So let's do this. So we are going to need to go here. Here, here, here. Oops, there. There, oh, missed again, there, there, that one, that one, that one, and this new one here, and we're going to add So by default, we want the delimiter to be a space. So we'll just do that for the moment. Okay, and I got a couple of those wrong. That's fine, I can fix them up. Uh, so that needs to uh, go here. And that needs to go here. Okay, so we've got a delimiter in there now. And for this one here, we are expecting a pipe instead. And then for this one, again, we'll do the same. But let's do hmm. Can we do something really daft? No, let's just do comma. <laughs> I'll just do a plain comma. And we'll see what happens there. Because there we go. Oh, and we should probably allow for. Keeping the default as well. So if you just do that, we should still get that. Okay, so it's empty. So we still retain an empty one there. Then we do pipe, then we do comma. It looks weird that because it's not quoted, but I want to test that. That's that. Okay. So that should definitely fail now in my tests. Yep. Yeah, so. Oh, that's interesting. It sorts them 
Um, yeah, so we got last used and search, uh, but we're expecting to limit to last used and search. We haven't, because that's because we haven't implemented it yet. So let's implement it. Okay, so this is a string value. So we'll steal that. And we'll stick it down here. Step out. I was going to do a little search there, but hey. Delimiter usage. Change the delimiter used to separate the output. Mm. Blade fields, that's better. And we're going to have space as the default. Okay, so I'm just going to remind myself, right, so if the flags don't pass, we show usage. Um, if the flags, if the search has not changed, interesting. Uh, usage if number of left only one search right okay only one search string supported Ah, oh, okay, yeah, okay, right. Right, so we haven't had the fl search flag. So we look to see if we've got more than one positional arg. If we do, it's a problem because we only have one positional arg. Um, and otherwise, we take that positional arg and put in search. That's fine. So we should be good there. think don't think I need to do anything else do I um
Yeah, no, we're good. I think. We'll soon find out. All right. So that will set, hopefully, the delimiter. And it should be okay. And the config test. No. Hmm. So we got delimiter empty, empty string, but expected that. One oh seven. Oh, that's not going to help me, is it? Because that is within the body of the data driven. That's the problem with data driven. Unless you pass in a uh, a comment, which I haven't done. I should have done that. I should have passed in uh, like an extra arg on these things to say what I'm testing, just like a little summary, um, and then if it failed. Uh, like here, I could have potentially had some sort of way of commenting it out or something. I don't know. It's a little bit harder here. I don't think you can. I don't know how I'd do that actually. Oh well. Um, okay, so we have an issue somewhere. I'm expecting it to be this. I can't imagine it being. The other two. Oh, so I'm just going to comment out that one. Let's see what happens. That's interesting. Single quotes seem to be a bit of an issue here. Why? Is it the way I'm passing these things? I may be misunderstanding the way these things are passed. Hmm, maybe I don't need to do that. I haven't done it before by looks of things. Okay. Ah, well, that was an easy one there, because that's got the search thing in it. It shouldn't. Because we're not passing that in yet. Okay, now it passes. All right. So what happens here then if I just do that? I guess that might be problematic. No, okay, fine. We'll live with that. <laughs> Right, um, so we do need to do a couple of combo ones um, just to make sure. So let's take these two here and we'll add a couple of different things. So we'll do that and we'll do What should we do? Let's be back tick again. I 
Oh yeah, because these are oh okay, yeah, because the individual quality things. Okay. Um we'll do that. So search is gonna be that again. That again. And then we'll do both again, but this time we'll make it uh, that just in case. That's right, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so then we've just plonked in a couple more. There we go. Fine. Good. All right, well, I'm good, happy with that. Um, now we actually need to use it. Oh, and then I need to go because I'm out of time. Ah. Um, yeah, that's a problem. I'm not going to have enough time because I've got to go now. Um, damn. Okay, right, so... Got the config. Got the format of string. What we need is to do the next thing is in here. Um, let's take these out and put in a different set because this is where we're going to have to do it. So in here, uh, config arg and use. Okay, so that's how to do for next time. because uh, I've got to go, unfortunately. Um, so, right. Thanks for watching. Uh, until next time, take care. Bye.